Do you remember the days before the update aquatic arrived? Back when we had these gravity messes? Well, I definitely do. And today we're going to be talking about why I think that the update aquatic changed Minecraft forever. For the update aquatic, this was the update to change oceans forever. And when you think about the oceans before, it's kind of hard to think about going back to the old oceans. Because we've got all the coral reefs now, we've got shipwrecks, we've got the new biomes, and the new water mechanics. And just looking at this gravity mess, it's just not very pleasing to the eye. You would just go over to the ocean biomes, and at the time the oceans were just one singular biome. And you would find yourself just a bunch of gravel everywhere, and you would also find one structure. And that was ocean monuments. And that's basically it. In the oceans, they were not very fun to be in. And let's not forget, there were only two mobs in the oceans. There was the guardians, which defended ocean monuments, and there was the squids. All the fish mobs that we got, they were once ordinary items. And now when it came to the Minecraft Update Aquatic, it brought a lot to the game. It brought us new type of bombs to the oceans, it brought us new underwater life, and it was just a really great update. For the biomes, there were a few new bombs you could find. There was cold oceans, lukewarm oceans, warm oceans, frozen oceans, and there's also deep oceans. But for all these ocean biomes, they did also come with its own aquatic life. Like if you went over to one of the warm bombs, then you could find puffer fish or even tropical fish. But if you were in one of the cold bombs, you could find yourself salmon and you could find yourself cod. You can also find dolphins. Dolphins, they are really, really cool. Still to this very day, the aquatic update is a really cool update and by far one of the most recognizable ones. I mean, it did help reform Minecraft what it is today. Without the update aquatic, Minecraft would be vastly a very different game. If you consider the oceans from way back in the day, they were all gravel or sand. It was just a really, really horrible sight to see, and it really did hurt your eyes quite a bit. But with the update aquatic, it did end up refreshing the oceans quite a bit. Could we see another ocean update in the future? Like an update aquatic V2? Maybe they would introduce some new type of fish life. Like I would love to see other type of fish inside the game. With all these really cool passive mobs, they also introduced a hostile mob which was known as the Drowned. And this is the Drowned right here. Along with the Drowned, there was a new type of weapon which was called the Trident. The Trident is a weapon that is very, very dangerous. Because if you find one of these Drowns holding a Trident, they can throw it right at you and they can hurt quite a bit. But you can also take it from the Drowned and use it as your own weapon. And along with the Trident, there were four new enchantments. There was Impaling, Riptide, Loyalty, and channeling. Each one of them did something really special. Like if you had channeling, then you could strike a mob with lightning if it was thunderstorming outside your window. And this would also be really perfect for getting charged creepers. For charged creepers, you can have it blow up a skeleton, or have it blow up another creeper, or maybe a zombie, and you'll get one of those calls as a return. Okay, I literally have no idea what's going on here. That's um, something I've never seen before. Our next enchantment was loyalty. Basically, if you throw the trident, whenever it lands, it will come right back to you. But also the rope is a little bit glitchy as well. And if it does land in lava, don't worry because it will still come back to you. You will not lose it in the process. There's also Riptide, which whenever you throw the trident, your character will twirl around. And it's a really cool animation. I like it quite a bit. And if it's raining, you can still use the enchantment, which is also really cool for activating your elytra. And our final enchantment is called Impaling, which deals more damage to underwater mobs. The Trident is a really cool weapon, and I like it quite a bit. Now before we add the Cave of the Cliffs update, there actually was an update to the caves, but it was a fairly small one. If you found a cave underneath oceans, then the caves would be flooded, and that was basically a little feature for caves. And then came along the 1.18 update, and made the caves a lot better. But for all these type of biomes, there was one biome that stood out from them all. When you go over to a warm biome, then you have a chance of finding a coral reef, which is not a biome. I still think it should have been a biome. Like to this very day, I kind of wonder why did they make this into a biome? Because it actually feels more like a biome more than anything. But this is a structure that can only generate inside this particular biome, the warm ocean biome. Inside the frozen ocean biome, there was one thing that made it stand out from all the other ones and that was the icebergs. The icebergs were just like coral reefs. They were a naturally generated structure. They were not their own separate biome, which I still think that this should have been a biome as well. As you're going throughout the oceans, 
you may also stumble upon the ocean ruins, which are also home of the drowned. Ocean ruins do also contain some loot that you can find. This was also the update that gave us the conduit. The conduit was basically like an underwater beacon. It would give you a special ability, which was called conduit power. Conduit power that you see underwater a lot better. You can mine underneath the water a lot easier and all sorts of underwater related features. And you can also swim a lot faster as well. This was just a really cool feature to have if you just enjoy living underneath the water. Now let's say you wanted to make yourself the conduit. Well, you would need to get yourself eight nautilus shells, which are either fished out of the water or you could find a drown holding them. But you would also have to locate a buried treasure chest, which you could find the map to the buried treasure inside the shipwrecks. And inside those chests, you'll find the art of the sea. Place it around the middle, then you get yourself the conduit. So you then have to make a structure like this. We also could find shipwrecks underneath the water now. Shipwrecks were a structure that could come in a variety of different shapes and different sizes. You can find half ships, you can find entire ships, or you can even find upside down ships or ships on the side. There was a lot of different kinds of shipwrecks you could find. But you could also find a lot of loot. Importantly, a treasure map. Treasure map would point you in the direction that you could find the buried treasure, which is where you could find the art of the sea. But sometimes if you're lucky, you could find even more chests. Like we have another one down here, which this is the treasure room. I actually found another shipwreck. The shipwrecks, they are pretty cool to see. There is also a big change to how water worked in your world. Like for instance, if you ended up dying underneath the water or you throw anything into the water, your items will now float to the bottom and then they'll float all the way back up. In previous updates, your items would sink all the way to the bottom of the ocean or any body of water. And then you'd have to go down there, get all your stuff, and then risk drowning and stuff like that. It wasn't a very fun experience whatsoever because if your items were too far underneath the water, then you have a fear that you will never get those items again. They also introduced water logging. So let's say you were placed on an anvil or maybe an enchantment table or a fence or a wall. Well basically all these different items, they can now be used underneath the water properly. In previous updates, if you were to place down any of these blocks, there would be an ugly pocket of air around the block. But now if you wanted to, you could place them underneath the water without having an ugly block of air. But you can also use a water bucket on one of these blocks if you wanted to water log it on the surface. Then you can use a regular bucket to get rid of the water. Ever since the addition of the update aquatic, Minecraft's updates have really taken a drastic change. Because since then, we've had Village of Village update, we've had 1.15, which was Buzzy Bees. Okay, maybe Buzzy Bees wasn't really the best update, but it was still a really good update. We've gotten the Nether update, and we've also gotten Caves and Cliffs. And all those updates have really brought some really great additions to the game. So I think it's definitely safe to say that the update Aquatic impacted Minecraft in a very huge way. And I think it changed Minecraft for the best. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of the update Aquatic. Do you think it was a great update for the game? And do you think it changed Minecraft forever? If you guys enjoyed today's video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it. Subscribe if you're around here. And for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.